Hello and welcome to the best car, the top 10 best cars of the Grand Theft Auto series. Now coming in at number 10, we have the Esperanto. Now the Esperanto is, it looks like a Cadillac. And the good thing about this car is it has quite good speeds, but it can be a real problem to handle if you're if you're coming to a, a stop because uh, it's heavy as hell I mean I know cars can be heavy but it's like eight tons or something and anyway at number nine we have the blista or ballista, I don't care. Anyway, the ballista is a minivan which only which appeared in Grand Theft Auto 3 and Liberty City Stories and I don't think is in any other games. And in fact, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is actually the the first and last minivan of the Grand Theft Auto series. At number eight, we have the Patriot. Now, the Patriot is obviously based off a Humvee, and and is also one of my favorite cars in the game. But it's not that great. Anyway, the Patriot has good ac good acceleration, a below average top speed, and quite good handling. Well, because it's a Hummer, it's also good for off-road. Well, of course. Anyway, the only problem I have with this vehicle is that in San Andreas, they cut out the ability to change the color of the car. It's now only a military vehicle, which only comes in brown or beige army colors, you know. At number seven, we have the Washington. Now, the Washington was first introduced in Vice City. But I don't play Vice City that much, so I can't really say anything about that. So I'll just have to go with the attributes of San Andreas. Now, when I first saw this car, I thought it'd be... I mean, it looks like a Lincoln, and... And I'm not sure if Lincolns are known for their speed. So I didn't really care about the car. But once I drove it, which I was in a hurry because of a cop chase, it actually drives really fast. I mean, I had no idea that this car was fast like that. Okay, I know it's not going to be slow as much, but it was damn fast. At number six, we have the burrito. Now, the burrito just looks like a, a Dodge Caravan, but it's been modified and is by far my favorite van of the Grand Theft Auto series. One, it looks cool. Two, the attributes are way better than the rumpo, than the rumpo or the pony. And the only problem with it is that it's a little top-heavy, so it'll flip once in a while. At number five, we have the... Uh, I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong. The Yosemite? Yosemite? Something like that. Anyway, the pickup truck is very huge and very heavy. So it won't flip over as much as you think. But the speed is kind of slow, but it makes up for it in the handling. And it won't go that fast, but I guess you can get away because it takes a lot of damage. And it's my favorite pickup truck of the game. And number four, we have the Tampa. Now, the Tampa is another beater car in San Andreas, and by far the best. Unlike the Clover, it has slightly better attributes, 
and a better look. Anyway, so what you're thinking now is probably I don't I've never heard of the Tampa or where to get one. And how to get one is it spawns around San Fierro uh, by the uh, what bridge it was it? Uh, try by where that try where the big submarine is. Anyway, at number three we have the Huntley. Now the Huntley, uh, I believe, was only in San Andreas. And is by far the best SUV of the game. Uh, the attributes are about average. Way better than the Landstalker. And it looks like a, a Range Rover. The only problem is with this vehicle is... No, actually it's not a problem. Actually, it's kind of a good thing. The stock rims on the Huntley look pretty cool. The only problem is, if you change it, uh, it won't look as nice as the stock rims did. So, if you're going to change up some stuff around the Huntley, or the color, or the performance or anything, don't change the rims because, well, just face it, the stock rims look way better than the other ones. At number two, we have the Ballista Compact. Now, I like this vehicle for three reasons. One, the style. And two, the attributes. And three, the... Uh, I guess there's only two. Anyway, the style, it looks like a Honda of some sort. And the attributes are quite good. It's fast. The handling is tight. I mean really tight. I mean you didn't if you're going on a high turn you probably won't even need to use the handbrake or any other brake. Or the e brake or whatever. Anyway, there's some rumor going on that the Ballista Compact is supposed to be the compact version of the of the original Blista, the minivan. And that could be true. And at number one, we have the Buffalo. Now the Buffalo got us started in, Gr in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And it only appeared in that game. And also Grand Theft Auto 4, but I don't have that game, so I can't say anything about it. Anyway, the Buffalo's attributes uh, surpass any other car in the game. It's fast, it can stay fast for a long time, and the handling is perfect. Not too tight, not too loose. And, uh, uh it looks like it's based off a, uh, a Camaro. I mean, from the back it looks like a Camaro, uh, third generation, I'm thinking. And... I don't know what the front looks like. I mean, I know what it looks like, but I don't know what it's based off of. And it is by far one of my favorite cars in San Andreas. But my favorite car has got to be the Clover because I love muscle cars. Anyway, that'll do it for the best cars of Grand Theft Auto. See you later.